Today, Precarious plays... Uh... Fire Emblem! What kind of man was General Eagler? When Sane and I first became knights, he was our captain, our teacher. I think he must have known we were telling the truth. Why did he force the fight? Something must have... Lord Lundgren was exerting some hold on him. Eagler was trying to protect someone, a friend perhaps, or family. May Lundgren never know the peaceful embrace of Mother Earth. No, come on, with some enthusiasm. May Lundgren never know the em peaceful embrace of Mother Earth. Mother Earth is the code name for her eight-person orgy. Oh no, were you still on that? I care not what others do, I will stop that man. Lark, the final battle is approaching. Fade to black. I like this. This is a nice touch because it's foggy yeah, here. Yeah, it is foggy. It's like foggy all over. Yeah. How are you feeling today, my dear brother? Lundgren. You, you fiend. It's a shame such villainous voices run in the family. <laughs> Your granddaughter's dead by now. And soon, you'll join her. Lindis, <laughs> why did this happen? I only wanted to see her once. For her blood. <laughs> no, I'll stop. I'll give him a nicer voice. He doesn't have as much of a butt chin, so he's probably a nicer person. I don't know about that. I don't think it works that way. Have you lost all hope? Has your life lost all meaning? Then hurry up and die, you miserable old dotard. Well, let's pause here for a second, because Fire Emblem has always had some pretty fucked up messages. You know, most yeah. media does, unless it's trying hard not to. Because look at this as a perfect example. Which one of these is the evil one? The less handsome one. Yeah, unfortunately, the more crazy eyebrowed... He's, long haired. He's got the crazier eyebrows, the more menacing brow. He has the less attractive hair style. Yeah, he's got kind of like longish hair and he's got the widow's peak. Yeah, the much more harsh because they both have a widow's peak. But yeah, look, the, one of them his, is pointy. Yeah, so if you're kind of going bald but you let your hair grow out and you have strong facial features and fucked up eyebrows, <laughs> you're bad. Yeah, and he's got, like, see, they even have a similar nose, but they made Lundgren's more harsh by giving it that additional line. Yeah, they did. Just, well, and, and I like, mean... like, the additional shading under the... What is the... What is this part? The part on the, the cheek. The bag the, under what? your eye. No, no, the... The libla fold. The libla libla fold. Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, Bale, thank you. <laughs> and also the big, big butt chin. The big, big butt chin, yeah. Okay. Which is not fair. I mean, he does have frowny lines. Maybe his eyebrows would look better if he'd just stop frowning. No. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh. I despise you, my worthless wretch of a brother. Oh, I'll never get to use my slightly nicer voice now. <laughs> Shall we save? Yeah. Save over seven. Just, yeah. just in case something explodes and we have to do all of this over again. Ah, uh, that would be a shame. <clears throat> General Eagler has been defeated. No. No. Stop, Wally. Go back to space Within or where the, the fuck ever. Other than him, who will kill his own A man who would kill his own kin for a throne. He is the source of all her troubles. He must be stopped. Stop it! <laughs> The Distant Plains, Chapter 10. Oh, it's the end of Lindis's crap. Thank God. Are we gonna do this? Are we doing this? Are we doing it? Lady Lindis, <clears throat> you should be able to see Castle Kaelin once we... What was I talking about? Oh, past these mountains. Sorry I keep making you like Shatner. <laughs> yeah, Kent once is we... just... 
past these mountains. Just that kind of nice. <laughs> Grandfather. You know what I'm saying, right? He's that kind of nice. Uh, no, I don't know what you're saying. All night. Grandfather. I'm saying what? he's a stalwart warrior and a great partner in battle. I'm talking about my dying grandfather, and you are like innuendoing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be with you soon. Everything rests on this next battle. <laughs> Lundgren Wink. will not re be receiving the reinforcements he expected. Look at him, he's so mischievous. Wink! <laughs> He'll move against Wink. us with everything he has soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be turned away. I will see my grandfather. I've come too far to let anyone stand in my way. This is it, Lark, our final test. My friends... For one last time, lend me your strength. What was that? What was that? Bail, play back that little thing that just happened there. What was that? What was... What? We'll have to look at it. I think it might have been... Oh, I think they cut to the battle map. Yeah. Just long enough to show... Lark... Like move further into the field, and that was it. Because I think it had a little green cloak, whatever it was. I've seen Lark show up on maps before we start pretty regularly. Really? Yeah. I bet you can find it on the last map. He like moves, like he shows up and moves away. You know, like he shows up and he like gets carried by another character. I think I, Lindis. I didn't notice that. I'm. I might be going crazy, but Bale, if you can find it. Yeah, Bale, look around for that thing that just probably let me know if I'm not exist. crazy, so that when just I'll just watch the episode. You can just tell me later. It'd be good. It'd be good. Just put like Odette not crazy <laughs> about this one. Just this <laughs> yeah, one. just this one time, not crazy. Or you can just put no, seriously, fucking crazy. Yep, for reals. About most things, so, including this one. There's no fog and no treasure boxes, so Matthew can stay here. Matthew stays home. I like it better that way, anyways. Let's me sharpen my knives, my skills. So before we start, because this is it. This map is all that's left of Lindis's chapters, and then we might take a small break, just because I don't think we realized what a, an undertaking. This was going to be. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember if Ellie Wood's stuff is 11 to. I think it might be. I think it might be chapters 11 to chapters 30. I think so, because I remember I didn't beat Ellie Wood's story when I played. And I remember I got, I think, like 10 more chapters in, and I was like, oh, it's not done? So. What do you what do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say for yourself? What do you mean about like continuing to beat the game or No, just about the game. I mean I love this game. So you do okay, here, let's because I've got fate fates on the brain, mm -hmm. what do you what's critical to Fire Emblem? What what makes you play this game over because we've got we've got XCOM Enemy Unknown over there on the computer, we have XCOM uh, Terror from the Deep, probably is the title, over there. We've got Disgaea over there on the shelf. We have Phantom Brave kicking around here somewhere. Okay, number one. Wrath. Possibly not the most so important, handsome. but quite important. Strong oh. female protagonist. Number two. Cute as fuck art style. Number three, can throw lightning. Number four, reminded me of Harry Potter when I started playing it. <laughs> it really? N no, not really, oh. but like the magic elements. I was like, oh, there are magic users and like fucking Pegasi. Like, I remember I was sold on this game mostly by, by the environment. You know, I like... I don't always like fantasy stuff, but at the time I was, I was very much into like Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter and like floofy wizard stuff and this idea of like knights and 
and things like that. Knights and princes and princesses sounded cool. And this wasn't like the usual like Disney, like hand wavy, like ignore the war sort of situation. It was like battle. Also, I, I think that there's just something that I like about the whole thing. Maybe because it's blue and green. Human beings like blue and green in general. <laughs> I'm not joking about that. They're studies. You can find them. <laughs> I'll look for them immediately. Yeah, sure. Bail, we're not looking that shit. <laughs> you don't have to. We're not, we're not looking for any of it. But blue and green are good colors. Yeah, and rivers. No, I know. Yeah. I was giving you a hard time before. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. We are, still doesn't... we are evolutionarily predisposed to like these colors. <laughs> it still doesn't say much about... You didn't mention many things that were... Or mechanical. Well, I don't tend to because. Um, okay, you know what? We'll talk about it more later because yeah. I, I think I might have sprung a, a very difficult question on you. So you think about it. Right now, time for an important decision. I'd recommend either Florina or Lucius. Who gets the angelic robe? Oh, what does the angelic robe, robe do again? It increases their HP by seven. Uh, Florina. She is less good at hitting shit. What? Well, I find that Florina is most vulnerable. Lucius is not as vulnerable. I'm, uh... I, like, need Florina to be stronger, okay? I will say that... No, Florina is probably going to be joining Hector on the front lines. Yeah, we need to make her tough. She's very brave, but now she needs to be tough. Yeah! And with that, because of the, the crazy HP bonus... Uh-huh. Like, I can't... I still, sometimes I, I can't believe that it's plus seven. They yeah. actually reduced it in fates. It's, yeah. it's only plus five now. Oh, yeah. Um, she is now tied with Kent and Sane for overall hardiness, I think. Well, that's good. I mean, the thing is with uh -huh. Florina's character is that she's kind of a wimp. Like, she's, she's very, like, fragile or whatever, but she's pretty brave for doing this. I know I give her a bunch of shit, but... She really is very brave for doing something that's so incredibly uncomfortable for her, you know? So bravery, right on, but she is not very tough. So if we can just, just, you know, toughen her up a little bit. You just punch her in the face. So that's what that, no, that's teach, what that means. No, that's not. No, I don't know, I don't, no, I don't know where you, where you learned it's that. It's just like a. That's not the, sim that's not like this, the, the cultural symbol for toughening up. That's the, uh, that's what you do to punch, to warn someone you're going to punch them in the face. That's the, the, the sucker punch avoidance sign. Oh, well. <laughs> that's to let someone know what's about to happen to them so people don't say that you're a dirty, rotten cheat later. Oh, okay. 